Hello, I'm Dr. Rajai. Today we are going to learn about managing engineering design. We will discover topics such as design phase, product liability, design factors of maintainability, and value engineering. Please listen to the following PowerPoint presentation and I'll return at the end of it to highlight the key points. Thank you. Chapter 10 Managing Engineering Design Managing technology is divided into Research Design Planning production Managing production Marketing Project management In this chapter we cover about engineering design Chapter Objectives Describe the phases or stages in systems engineering and the new product development process. Recognize product liability and safety issues. Recognize the significance of reliability and other design factors. New product development. Approval to expend resources and agreement on work to be done. Accomplishment of work on stage. Complete results Proposed plan for next stage Review, formal or informal Engineering problem solving approach Define the problem Collect and analyze the data Search for solutions Evaluate alternatives Select solution and evaluate the impact. Below is the typical product life cycle phases. A typical product life cycle is linear. At each stage, there are material, energy, and labor inputs and waste outputs that create environmental and social impacts. New product development stages. Conceptual. Technical Feasibility or Concept Definition Development Commercial Validation Production Product Support Disposal Stage Concurrent Engineering Set of Methods, Techniques, and Practices, that Consideration within design phase of factors from later in cycle. Produce design of processes. Facilitate reduction of time required to translate design into products. User ability to meet users' needs. Engineers must communicate. Drawings. Specifications. Financial estimates Written reports Oral presentations And sales Control systems in design Drawing release Configuration management Design review board Special considerations in design Product Liability Safety Reliability Maintainability Availability Ergonomics Producibility Liability Designer foresee unlikely conditions Product contains adequate warnings Risks reduced to greatest extent possible. Meets users' reasonable expectations of safety. Safety. Safeguards to reduce or eliminate accidents influenced by. Design. Proven materials and components. Proven manufacturing methods. Clear instruction. Costs of safety 
corporate entities. Downsizing leads to underfunded safety programs. Bottom line maximize profits. Smaller companies. Safety programs non-productive and unprofitable. Cost to implement safety programs hits hard. Number of accidents versus costs. 1986 industry, WV, pesticide toxic leak. $1.4 million in fines for Union Carbide Corporation. 135 people injured. 1991 Hamlet, NC, chicken plant fire. 25 employees killed, 56 injured. NC OSHA levied fines of $808,000. Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA. Fines and penalties for unsafe work practices. More information can be found on www.osha.gov. National Safety Council, NSC. Reportable safety violations and statistics. Employer and employee safe working conditions. More information on NSC can be found on www.nsc.org. Reliability. Is the probability that the product will perform a specified function. Under specified conditions. For a stated period of time. Maintainability. Administrative and preparation time. Logistics time. Active maintenance time. Ergonomics. Is the human factors engineering. Science of designing machines, products, and systems to maximize the safety, comfort, and efficiency of the people who use them. One of primary goals is prevention of workplace illness and accidents. Use simulations, replicas of workstations, aircraft, cars, trucks. Value engineering follows a structured thought process to evaluate options as follows. What is it? What does it do? What does it cost? What is it worth? What else might do the job? What do alternatives cost? Engineering design and product design are areas of my strongest expertise. In this chapter, we have discussed different stages of product development, starting from design, Problem. We also discussed the importance of concurrent engineering and product development. It's important to take corrective actions in early stages of design because as product development advances, mistakes in design could be very costly for organization. One thing company must consider, which is discussed in this chapter, is product liability. Almost on regular basis we hear on the news of some major injury or death that happens to a company not paying enough attention to the safety of their, their product. Remember, you have to consider many factors to design a good, viable and safe product.